Hello everyone, so I thought I would do another update because I have a few new things to tell you. Um, sadly, I'm getting worse again, new infections in my groin and under my armpits. Uh, so that hurts a lot, so I can't bring my daughter to school again. I tried last week, but then I tried once and then it got worse and worse and worse. So, still home, still tired, still infections. So, no good news there. But I have other good news. And the good news is that we booked our plane tickets to Georgia with Georgia Airways. We're going to fly from Amsterdam, uh, uh, Schiphol, that's the name of the airport in Amsterdam. And we're going to have a direct flight to Tbilisi, Georgia. And um, we are going to fly on April 6th. Um, and then we are going to uh, stay there for the weekend and then on the Monday, which is April 8th, we are um, having our first appointment at the clinic. Uh, we are almost at the money that we need, so we still need a few no donations. So please, for everyone who didn't donate yet and you can miss a little thing, um, a donation can be done from 4 euros, so we still really, really need it. Uh, but we booked the plane tickets and we made the appointment at the Eliava clinic in Georgia, which is amazing. Uh, something to look forward to. I'm also a little bit scared because I'm not really sure what is going to happen. And this is this is something new for people from Western countries, so including me. So uh, I think I will be taking uh, bacterial phages to drink. Sometimes you get the, the pills to put up your bum. And I believe they also have some bacteriophage creams, but it's kind of different to every patient which kind of phages they will use. So I don't really know what to expect. Um, but we booked, so that's that's really, really good. Um, I have my appointment with the doctors that are going to study me doing this treatment. Uh, from the EMC, that's the Erasmus Medical Center in uh, Rotterdam. Uh, the for 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 who who of you don't know it, uh, I contacted some research doctors who actually specialize in skin diseases, like dermatologists, who do a lot of research, uh, clinical trials uh, for new medicine and stuff. I contact them and ask them if they wanted to study me using bacterial phages and they were actually really interested in it. So they are going to study it all the way. So I have been finding out my medical history to give to them because I want to know my full medical history. And they also gave me some homework. Um, they gave me, uh, first of all, this is the Dermatology Life Quality Index. And in this, I have to fill it out every week. So this is the first week when I started to fill this out. And then and then after seven days, I have to fill out another one, etc., etc. And you have to answer questions on these uh, for uh, how much pain are you in? Uh, did you feel uncomfortable in that week? Uh, were you able to do shopping or uh, uh, work in your, in your, in your household? Uh, did you have to take account of what clothes you would wear for the disease? Uh, did it have any effect on your social activities or sports? Uh, were you able to work or to study? Um, um, did you have problems? Did, 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 your, did your disease cause problems in your, uh, in, in your relationships with your partner or friends or family? Uh, in your sexual life? Um, and uh, all those kinds of questions. So I had to fill those out every week for the, uh, about the last seven days uh, of my disease. Then they sent me a diary. I have to do that every single day. This is a diary about pain. And it has these things in it. And for every date, I have to fill in a number between 0 and 10 on how much pain I was in that day. And also what pain medication I took on what day, what time and how much I, I took. So I have to do that as well. They also sent me a diary to uh, uh, document all my flare ups. So every time I have a new infection coming up, that first day that it's coming up, I have to document that here and then the place where it comes up. 
so for every this is all the dates and these are all the the places that it, it that all the flare-ups were so for every date i have to do that and this is actually the drainage a diary about the drainage so how much drainage i had that day for the flare-ups and also i have to do that in a in a number index way so that's actually the the forms they sent me and i have to bring that because april 4th i will be going to them and then they will do a medical exam they will take pictures of all my infections and blood tests and swabs and all those kinds of things so they know my before and then when i come back from georgia they will do my my after and i probably will have to fill in the same kind of forms again another diary to see if there's a difference uh, before and after the bacterial phages treatment so yeah that's actually uh news and another uh, part of my good news is that I got contacted by um, a, a well-known uh, Dutch magazine. It's called Women, Frau. <laughs> and they uh, did an a interview with me about my disease and about my, um, my mission to have bacteriophages studied by Dutch uh, dermatologists. And they will publish it tomorrow. So I will probably share links to, to the article because they will publish it online. And um, so I will share that too, but it will be in Dutch. So for English, it's uh, people, <laughs> it's harder to, to read, but maybe I will put a translate uh, part next to it or something. So you can all read what's in the article. So that's actually my, my updates. Again, if you want to donate, you can go to my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash help Suzanne and click on the donate link. Um, again, we still need about 2000 euros to reach the goal for a full year of, of this treatment. And you will not only help me, but because I'm being studied by uh, researchers, you might also help a lot of other people with this disease and with um, inf infection skin diseases. Uh, so you could help a lot of people by donating for this cause. So I want to thank you all. I want to wish you all an, an amazing day. And uh, I will see you in my next updates. Bye, guys.